Hello and welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. You're inside the stitchery and today is part two of our puffy paint tutorial video. If you didn't see part one, I will link it in the iCards above and in the description box. That was how to put puffy paint on regular acrylic yarn, just right on top. This is how to put puffy paint on fuzzy yarn. And yes, there is a big difference on putting puffy, 3D, whatever you call it, on regular yarn versus fuzzy yarn. You have to do completely separate techniques. And um, if you don't, your project will fail. And actually, you get to see me fail in this video. <laughs> but I left it in because I wanted to show you guys how I fixed it. So I thought that would be helpful so that if it happens to you, you know how to fix it. So if you haven't seen part one, I recommend watching part one first, but you don't have to. But if not, then just enjoy this video. Thank you. Okay, so first we have to do is we have to pick our color. So I need to add eyes to this little guy and I am going to add green. And I need a paintbrush, a very small one. Let's see what I've got. This one's better, okay. So I have my thin paintbrush. I have a little scrap of felt here for testing. And we are going to see. So first thing you do, always, always, and I cannot stress this enough, test the tube before putting it on the actual project. Okay. Now I'm going to wipe my nozzle as clean as possible. So I'm going to need that for something in a second. And I'm going to need it to be clean. So here is our little kitten. Now, first thing, I want to add eyes to him. But if I just put this paint directly on here, because you see how fluffy it is? Ooh, fluffy. If I just put the paint directly on here, it will flick off or the eye will, like, get on the fur and hang down or it'll look like a zombie cat or something. <laughs> so uh, we want to push what we can out of the way. So I'm just using, you know, a paintbrush to just kind of... Move the fur out of the way where I want the eyes till I get down to where whoop, till I get down to where the yarn kind of is. Then I'm going to take my paintbrush and make a hole. Okay, so we made our hole and now we're going to take our paint. Do not squeeze before you do this or it'll make a huge mess. I'm going to insert into the hole and slowly squeeze as I gently pull out. Pop any bubbles because the bubbles won't stay and it'll make your piece look weird. Whoop, and see, we've got a stray hair here. That's why we have the paintbrush to push it down. There we go. See, there's his eye. Isn't that cute? We're gonna do the exact same thing for the other eye. Let's see, I want him spaced about here. So let's move this fur out of the way. Always have a tissue nearby to clean the tip of your puffy paint bottle. I am using cosmetic rounds. That's just my choice. That is not what you have to use. Okay, insert. 
slowly squeeze. Pop the bubbles. Bubbles will not stay. See, there we go. Smooth with our paintbrush. There we go. Isn't he cute? So the other thing you want to do is every time you use your paint, you want to clean off the tip. Because you always want a clean tip to go on your product. So this one needs to be covered in paint splatters. <laughs> so we get to have some fun right now. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to paint it onto his fur. I'm going to grab another brush. I think this one's good. This one's pretty stiff. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I'm going to grab my little, my little testing palette here and I'm going to squirt some paint on that and then paint it on the kitten. Sometimes the top is clogged. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna snip that off. There we go. Wow, there's like almost nothing. That is frustrating. I'm not gonna use that one. Okay. So mix my two colors here. And you see how it soaked into my felt? That's what you want it to do on your project. You want it to soak in. Otherwise, he'll just kind of flake off. Take his paw. As I'm doing this, I'm pouncing and pushing into the yarn. I am not just pushing it on top on the little furry parts. I'm trying to get into the yarn really well. <laughs> trying to make it look like he's got paint on his paw. So actually, I'm going to just add a little bit of paint on his paw. I'm pushing in as I take the little tip. I am trying to like push in to the stitches. And I'm not squeezing anymore. I am just trying to use the paint that's there. <laughs> We're gonna give him a little bit of a little bit of paint down here. Make him look <laughs> Let's see. And again, I am pouncing it into the yarn. Because if it just stays on this furry bit, it won't work. It won't do what I want it to. <laughs> ah. I love it. So I am going to use some blue. 
make a little puddle. Oh, can you guys see? There you go. Made a little puddle and I'm gonna add some white on top of that because her eyes are pastel blue. I've got more paintbrushes, we're good. <laughs> need a whole lot more white. Ooh. Yeah, that's... That's pretty, but that is so the wrong color. Okay. Well, just add a little bit of this. Which is not fabric paint, but I'm mixing it with fabric paint, so it should be okay. Okay. Whoa. And that's why you have testing pads. <laughs> we go. Now, this one scares me because <sighs> there's no going back. <laughs> Pick where her eyes are going to go. Move the hair out of the way. Okay. Right there. I hope this is actually interesting for you guys. And for this one, because of her white fur, I don't want it going into the paint, so I'm gonna blow on it. And I see a stray right there. That's why I have my scissors. See our air bubble? This hair started to go rogue. So if that happens, you just need to make the hair part of it. Okay, there. All right, now let's hope we can do it again. <laughs> so I'm actually not gonna pick the hole this time. I'm gonna try and pick this stitch over here. See if that, it makes any difference whatsoever. Trying to pull all the hairs away. Maybe this one. Okay. This is why we picked the hole. <laughs> that was my mistake. I should have picked the hole. Well, at least you guys will know better. All right, so as you can see, our regular uh, paint experiment didn't quite work out. So I went to the store and I bought puffy paint that matched so we can fill in these little holes that you see. It's not a big deal. Test. Very nice. Okay. Again, we want to make sure all the fur is out of the way. And 
And we now have a solid place where we can just kind of place the paint right on top. And I still need my paintbrush. To just help control these hairs. There we go. And again, I want to make sure all of these hairs are out of the way. So we're just painting on top of this surface. When that dries, I can trim those little hairs off. So. By the way, this only happens when you use non-fabric uh, paint to try and do it. I will show you what it looks like if you just use it normally. Looks like it's already coming out. Okay. See our hole here? Let's try and fill that in. Now, I've already done it on this dark green one here. So that's looking good. And these two are looking better. Okay, so we'll see how they are in a bit. So they aren't perfect but they're still different and they're cute. And it's just, you know, something extra that's not a safety eye. And if you do it this way, it is absolutely safe for a child, which is great um, because it's really in there and it's very hard for them to, you know, pull it out or something. Whereas if you just do regular surface paint, um, I wouldn't give it to a child because they could just peel it right off. This is deep in there, so um, it'd be a lot harder. Anyway, um, thank you for coming today, and I hope you learned something new. Please turn on your notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. I mean, you wouldn't want to miss a cute little video like this, would you? I don't stick to a schedule, so if you don't turn those on, you might miss one. Thank you for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Yarn Zebra family. I would love to have you over here. We have fun over here. We have tutorials. We have hook reviews. We have random vlogs of me just talking. <laughs> and we're start about to start two new mini series. What are they, you ask? I guess you'll have to subscribe to find out. Thank you for joining me today. Please remember, life happens. Yarn helps. And Spoonies can stitch it up too. Bye.